Hi everyone, this tutorial will explain how to use prompts and reference images to generate seamless textures and how to control the results of the generated textures. First, let's go over the basic Generate Pattern workflow. You can find the AI generation tools in the toolbar. Select Pattern and click it to open the panel. Next, make sure you have completed the basic installation, which includes the Stable Diffusion 1.5 model. Next, click Comfy UI and connected the Fashion Gen with Comfy UI. Opening the Pattern panel, you'll see a prompt area where you can enter text prompts to generate patterns. You can also use a reference image to guide the pattern generation. The sampler allows you to adjust the quality of the generated textures and the default settings already balance performance and visual quality. Next, we'll generate a pattern using the default prompt. Click Generate Pattern and wait a moment, the texture will be generated automatically. You'll notice that a new layer is added automatically and the generated texture is saved under Custom in the Content Manager. You can generate multiple variations to compare the results. The tiling setting allows you to adjust the scale of the pattern, and you can also tweak the offset to position the pattern as desired. Afterward, in the texture settings, you'll see that the generated texture includes only the base color without normal or PBR maps. You can generate the normal and PBR maps manually and further fine-tune details such as strength and other advanced settings. Next, let's explain how to generate patterns by using prompts. First, we can start by entering geometry patterns to generate different geometric shapes. However, because this prompt does not specify a clear shape, the resulting forms cannot be precisely controlled. To gain better control, we can use basic shape keywords such as circle. Once a shape-specific prompt is provided, you'll see that the generated patterns consistently take on a circular form. Similarly, if we enter star-shaped, the generated patterns will all appear as star shapes. We can also control color through prompts. For example, after adding yellow, the generated results will become yellow star-shaped patterns. That each generation adds a new layer, so remember to delete any unused layers to avoid unnecessary performance overhead. In addition to natural language, prompts can also be entered in a single word or phrase as a prompt and prompts can be also used to control material appearance as well. For example, by entering corduroy as the material prompt, clicking generate, and adjusting the tiling settings, you can achieve a texture with a corduroy-like surface effect. You can also try other materials, such as denim, which will generate colors and textures similar to denim fabric. or enter leather, which produces a leather-like material appearance. Finally, we can also try generating objects. For example, if we enter yellow flower, the Stable Diffusion 1.5 model will generate realistic flowers. To avoid overly realistic results, it's important to specify the style and pattern type. By adding seamless vintage tileable pattern, the result becomes a vintage style pattern while retaining the original yellow flower elements. Of course, we can also try changing different flower varieties. By entering velvet red rose, you'll see that the yellow flowers are replaced with roses. Similarly, if you change the flower to cherry blossom, it can also be generated successfully. For more detailed instructions on writing prompts, please refer to the manual. Next, in the sampler settings, the seed is set to random by default, which means a different variation is generated each time. If we switch it to fixed, the current style and layout will be locked. 
Below that, the steps parameter controls the number of calculation steps during generation. When using fast, which has fewer steps, the texture generates more quickly, but appears less detailed. When switching to detailed, which uses a higher number of steps, the resulting pattern becomes more refined, although the generation process takes longer. Finally, the CFG setting controls how strongly the model follows the prompt. When set to creative, with a lower CFG value, the generated result may differ more from the prompt. When set to faithful, with a higher CFG value, the output adheres more closely to the prompt. By default, we keep the setting at balanced to achieve a good balance between performance and visual quality. Next, let's explain how to use reference images. In the reference image panel, you'll see distribution and motif. First, we can drag an image into the motif slot and click generate. The AI will use the style of this reference image in combination with the original prompt to generate a pattern. This allows us to incorporate the yellow flower into the style of the motif reference image. You can also adjust the strength setting. Increasing the strength will make the generated result closer to the motif reference image, while decreasing the strength will make the result align more with the original prompt. Next, we can apply an indigo dye effect. After generating, you'll see the yellow flowers adopt the indigo style effect. Adjusting the strength will give different levels of influence from the reference image. Now, let's look at distribution. By dragging a black and white patterned image into the distribution slot, the AI will use the layout and distribution of the reference image along with the original prompt to generate a pattern. This results in yellow flowers following the distribution of the reference texture. Adjusting strength works similarly. A lower strength makes the result more random and closer to the prompt, while a higher strength makes the pattern follow the distribution reference more closely. Of course, you can use both motif and distribution together. Then generating will produce a pattern that incorporates both the style of the motif and the layout from the distribution reference. If you reduce the motif strength and generate, the result will primarily follow the distribution layout while applying the prompt. Conversely, lowering the distribution strength produces a more randomized arrangement. We can use a botanical pattern as the distribution reference and a watercolor image as the motif reference. The generated result will produce a botanical pattern with a watercolor style. If we increase the distribution strength, the generated result will follow the layout of the distribution reference image more closely. For more detailed instructions on reference image usage, please refer to the manual. Next, we can go to Custom, select the previously generated pattern texture, right-click, and choose Regenerate. After clicking it, you'll see that the current prompt will be replaced, and both the reference image and sample will also be replaced. We can change the prompt color to blue and set the seed to random, then we can reuse the previous reference image or prompt to make modifications and regenerate the result. By using different prompts and reference images to guide style and layout, combined with adjustments to the sampler settings, we can quickly generate a wide variety of pattern effects. Thanks for watching.